These videos about Lifting. stealing, they got interesting. They got interesting. A pair of sunglasses there. But for one woman, it ended up costing much more than she ever expected when she suddenly became the target of a major undercover sting operation. And we were there as it all went down. All right, Todd, they're approaching the store right now. Guys, do they even sell these cars more? I haven't seen a single one on the road in like 15 years. What you were watching, that's like legitimately, is an organized shoplifting ring in action. In this case, the suspect, Melinda Ford, Guys, aka Poppy. They all disappeared, right? Guys, I'm not crazy, right? Like, over like two or three years, like 10 years ago, they like all disappeared. Like, boom! Like, I, I don't even see one on the road anymore. What happened? Were they like designed to break? is about to hit the dressing room of a Bell's department store in Florida. Right now what we're seeing is our main target in the store. Last year we were given access to an unfolding investigation to a crime that starts the sleight of hand and ends up costing all lost. of us big money. Cops tell us that Puffy is their prime suspect. And they she's call huge. Her the booster. And they believe she could be the key to bringing down a multi-layered Florida shoplifting ring. Over the last three years, shoplifting has become a growing national problem. Stores mark up merchandise to offset the losses, and it'll cost what? your household roughly $400 a okay. year. Guys, as much as uh, shoplifting is terrible, okay, um, their profit margins are fucking huge for these products. Why would they feel the need to mark up some of these products to, to make up for the loss of stealing? Not true? Wait, that's not true? Wait, no, that's that's literally really true. Did it? The profit margins are very good on another like individual. That. We have one occupant and one suspect. That's why Sergeant Jim Ostacek from the Polk County Sheriff's Office has spent nearly a month chasing Puffy that yellow beetle. All right, they're pulling in now. The woman driving Puffy around, they call her Pee-wee, and we're blurring her face because she's actually a police informant. Pee-wee has told the cops that Puffy's M.O. is to enter the fitting room with two of everything. And then, once inside, conceal one of each item under her street clothes. Pee-wee tells the cops that Puffy then hands the items over to a network of men and women she pays to return the goods to the store. We watched as Bell Security monitored what they say was one of those illegal returns going down. Wait. So she just returned the stolen what? stuff? Police say suspected returners cashed the stolen goods in for store credits in the form of gift cards. They believe those gift cards will later turn up on popular online auction sites. It seems like the gift cards are pretty much money, right? Yes. Those are kind of like, you know, it's gold. After weeks of following Puffy in and out of stores, weeks? a 90 mile stretch from Orlando all the way to Tampa, Sarge and his team are finally ready to arrest her. Investigators say if they can flip Puffy, they're betting they can round up. Chat, do they give the money back to the stores and that or like help them out? Because if, they, if they've seen people steal like thousand dollars in these stores, what happens with these stores? They, the they just the lost fencers, and bring down the whole booster ring. Bell security team is in place. Both subjects have entered the store. They're inside Insurance. the store, monitoring Puffy and the police informant Pee Wee on surveillance cameras, and radioing their movements to officers outside waiting in the parking lot. Subjects are now exiting the store. An unmarked police car is waiting. Both subjects have entered the vehicle. The vehicle is moving. As they exit the parking lot, the police pull up right behind them. Peewee, who's been wearing a wire for weeks now, fakes being terrified. They coming, they coming. They're pulling me. Oh, this particular Bells is right across the street from their own sheriff substation. So they pull over Puffy and Peewee right into the station's parking lot. Puffy is escorted inside directly into an interrogation room. They need to turn Puffy because they believe as the head of the ring, she's the only one who can lead them to everyone involved. I want to get one thing straight with you, okay? Understand, if you're going to cooperate with us you're gonna, and we're going to help you, then you got to fully co cooperate. And if you don't want to do that, you need to tell me now because I don't want to waste my time, you know what I'm saying? Police say the no, rest of the suspected accomplices likely don't even know who each other are. 
I want to name of every person you can you can set up a deal and sell this stuff to today. After a few hours confronting her, police say Puffy finally seems to crack. These guys have basically flipped Puffy and they've managed to get her to call everybody in her virtual Rolodex and she's going to go to them one by one, talk to them, try to sell them something and these guys are going to bust all of them eventually. Over the next 24 hours, Puffy works and works well for the police. The he fuck? Like the only person, but he don't have her phone number. Methodically helping them set up and then round up her alleged accomplices. And as she sets off to bust them, she seems surprised that what she's been doing is considered a serious crime. I never thought that what I did was this serious. The it's very serious. It actually is an organized crime. Puffy, who will later receive a two-year prison term plus 10 years of probation, gets to work, helping to round up a dozen suspected returners. We're picking up one of the other suspects right now. She's got a black shirt on, red pants. That's coming right forward. Wait, the, guys, guys, uh, uh, this comes from a not knowing kid. I, I just don't know. How bad is it that these guys buy the clothes off of her? They're part of the crime? What if they don't know? They, they just, they're just trying to buy it because it's cheap. For the people, Puffy claims she paid to return her stolen merchandise. Police say they have evidence that 33-year-old Erica is also one of them. Hey, Paul, we're almost to you. Right there. Don't drop me like that! She would later plead guilty and was given 24 months of probation. I don't want him in my face with these cameras, man, like Erica. I'm a stone-cold criminal! Police say Erica only made about five or ten bucks for each return. Let's do it. Next, the suspected fencers. They're the people who Puffy tells us Jesus. buy those gift cards from her for about 50 cents on the dollar. What I do? You got a warrant for your arrest. Police say one of Puffy's fencers also sells her boosted merchandise at a neighborhood store. So they send her in with dresses they've secretly marked. I've been stealing all damn day. I'm gonna go back to the store. Police have coached Puffy to tell Ray, a.k.a. Bubba, that the items are stolen. A six address. All right, baby, I ain't gonna argue with you. It's stolen. Ain't no overhead over for me. The next day, the police raid this store. Polk County Sheriff, I have a search warrant. And find most of that merchandise up for sale. I didn't know it was stolen and that. I... He was later convicted of dealing in stolen property and sentenced to 36 months in prison. Holy! In the three weeks we followed them, the Polk County Sheriff's Office arrested Puffy and 16 of her suspected associates and were able to stop what they say is one of the largest organized retail crime rings operating in Central Florida. Jesus, man. This is no joke. Clothesgate.